yo what's going on guys back another video it's your boy nick and in this video we're going to be doing a different video usually you see me unboxing hats or doing reviews or whatever but in this video so i got my grail hat if you guys saw in the thumbnail let me show you the hat right now right here acquired so the problem with this and you've seen the the title is it's too small and so i saw this review from fitted land he had a 3.8 and i'm a 3.8 um but I couldn't get a 3.8 because this hat is friends and family, super rare, not much stock. Um, and basically, I have a friend that got a smaller size. And I was thinking, oh, if Fitted Land said his ran big, maybe mine will run big too. And maybe I can pull it off. Um, but yeah, ended up not being that way. So his video is making his hat fit smaller. This video is making my hat fit bigger. And I'll be testing the Hat Club Stretcher that I bought should be around here somewhere and I'll stretch it and see if it works out. If not, I wasted a lot of money and yeah, so hopefully this works or else I wasted all this money on this hat. Um, you can see right here, this is it. Friends and family pin. You got that cream something brown. I don't know. You guys can decide what that is. So I do is. have the hat stretcher here. You can see it has this metal piece, wood hat club pretty easy to use you kind of just uh what's it called um make it small so that it fits in the dome of the hat underneath and then you would just twist it and tighten it up and then before you do that though you have to um use a steamer and steam it up so i'll do that but i just want to show you guys some pickups that i got that i didn't make a video on i had this seattle mariners so for some reason i think they sent me two uh they might have gave me one for free i don't i don't remember um I don't remember ordering two at all but yeah i got two somehow and then i got two of these nationals all right guys so i got the steamer on but i just made sure to take off the stickers um that's just a preference of mine you guys are not living in 2010 anymore you guys can remove those stickers off it, it looks way better um and yeah so i don't i'm not gonna curve it yet so i'm just gonna steam all over the hat the inside so that I can put it on the hat jack. Let's let's do that. So as you can see, just putting it inside, letting it letting it get in there. Get each and every angle, because it just helps the hat stretch better. So I got the jack in, um, I'm going to tighten it up now, you can see how it is, make sure that it fits all around the sides, and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done and that it's all stretched, um, and then I'll leave it for the five minutes, you'll see it as it's stretching, and we'll take it off. Alright guys, so I got it on the jack, it's all uh, to the best I could do it too, you can see it's kind of curling around there, um, but hopefully it, it will stretch it good enough. Usually when I have a one fourth that fits pretty tight and I'm a three eight, like I said, it usually over corrects itself. So this should be perfect, um, but I can keep playing around with it. So I'll leave it here for like 10 minutes. I'll try to tighten it more maybe. Um, but yeah, this one's gonna require a lot, a lot. And um, yeah, I've used this already in the past. So I can say I've had good experience with it um and i definitely recommend it but let's see if this holds up to its hype and expectation so let's go so while i'm waiting for that let me show you what i have on this has probably been my one of my favorite hats that i've picked up it's from sports world or exclusive fitted one of those um i got that patchwork pin that just dropped the pink diamond um it's my first patchwork pin i don't know why i slept on the last one they did it was like a tiffany and co one um even though i like that company and it was inspired by that um, this is the Hat Club Spumoni pin. Um, I just threw it on because the colors go with it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like this hat, uh, what pins you guys usually use. I ordered a Ronnie fitted um, rice bowl pin, so that's going to be coming in. Uh, let me know what pins you guys use or recommend because I'm looking to buy pins right now uh, so I can make my hats look better and stuff like that. But yeah, so I let it sit for about five minutes. Then I went over again to crank it up a little bit more. You can see here it is pretty stretched out. This is a one eighth, but it looks like it's at least to a one four now. And I can kind of do that. I can kind of go with that. Um, 
but I don't know if this is going to work. Hopefully it does. We'll see. If it does, I will be so happy. Yeah, you can see how tight this jack is in for the family. But anyways, I'm going to let it sit for another five minutes and let's see what happens. Then I'll take it out. All right, so the five minutes is over. Let me take it out of the jack and see if it's going to work. All right, guys, so I took it out of the jack, and I can tell you guys it fit, and I'm happy. Um, I didn't notice anything as far as, like, this, like, stress marks. I thought that there was going to be some stress marks from it, and actually it came out pretty fine. Uh, maybe because it could do with, like, flattening the black uh, sweatband here. That could play into it. Um, but it fit really good, like, before it would not even, even go on the slightest part of my head or whatever, but it fits perfect now, and I'm happy. Did a little bit of bending to the brim, but I'm just gonna steam it right here really quick, and bend that brim really quick, and we can get an on, um, on body pick, so let's get right into it. So you guys can see right here that it fits pretty good. It is a little bit weirdly fitted up here but i'll be honest it's pretty good um i don't have any angels hats with this logo um so in the future i hope to get more and i think some of them that i'm looking out for are the cookies and cream um those should be restocking soon i heard that those were restocking soon from ben on one of his hat club lives so yeah i do want that that angels cookies and cream as well as the cubs cookies and cream um, and you know, when, when they first dropped the friends and family Dunkaroo, uh, capsule drop, I was there and I literally slept on it, um, when those dropped and I regret it hundred percent. I don't know why I didn't pick those up back then. I was like eight months ago, I started school and I was just in the library and then a capsule, uh, posted that they had a Dunkaroo friends and family shock drop and I slept on it. So I don't know. This one though is a little bit different and um i like it a lot you can see the back batterman is in black similar to the ox pack you got that all-star game patch and yeah it's weird because i took it out and then i bent the brim so i don't know if i should stretch it a little bit more maybe in the future um because now it fits a little bit tight so i don't know if some of that uh stretching didn't last too long but overall the hat stretcher is pretty good, and I 100% recommend it. Um, I think you could still get it on the website. It's what it looks like. It's definitely worth the price, good quality and everything. $20 is a great price for it. I would stay away from the Amazon ones, get the real stuff, the hat club. Um, but, yeah, so this is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this hat. Did you guys sleep when this one dropped? I think it was like a month ago or whatever. Um, do you have this hat in your collection? Did I do good with my purchase? Um, I didn't tell you guys how I got this hat, but if you stay till the end of this video, I'll tell you right now. Basically, I told you I had a friend who got it. And what I did was um, I kept offering them different things for a while. And basically, I offered them a pair of Yeezys that I had that were used. Yeezy Day was coming up. Those didn't restock, but I um, basically I gave him my used pair of zebras from last year. Um, they were used like four or five times, something like that. This has gone for a lot of money, as you guys know, and he was willing to add $50 on top. So in my opinion, it was a good deal. I usually don't pay resale for hats, but this one was one that I was willing to. Um, but basically, those Yeezys... I didn't really need I have a lot of shoes I was trying to downsize anyways so it was good for both of us I guess in a way he wanted those those were his grails and yeah so that's gonna be all for this video hope you guys enjoy make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you guys like this video I'll be doing more videos like this I'm um, trying to get my quality up a lot more um, just a little bit busy right now you'll see more hat videos um, in the future I'm going I think I got another capsule unboxing coming soon. I got the d backs one on the way. Um, and I'm sorry, I've just been a little bit behind. You would have saw a Hat Club uh, cold fashion unboxing, but I didn't do it. You saw in the beginning all those hats that I got. I just didn't do a review on them. But yeah, thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>